Hello, my name is Azar Christopher Lubogo. I would like to introduce you to one of our books called A Treatise to My Learning Friend, The Attorney at Law. Listen, this book will give you the nuggets of existence. If there's any book you want to read in this world, it's this book. Because in this book, you're going to be uh, embraced with ideas of how to survive in this society. Let me read for you a quotation, for example. I make this quotation from one of the movies called The Great Debaters. It says, who is the judge? The judge is God. And why is he God? Because he decides who wins and loses and not my opponent. And who is your opponent? He doesn't exist. And why does he not exist? Because he's a mere descending force for the truth I speak. Find out more about this book in terms of the things that are written in this book. Things to do with awakening the giant within you. Things to do with the dreams of destiny. Reflections. Edifications. I make wonderful quotations from different people. For example, Justice Oliver Wonder Holmes, who said wanting to become a lawyer. Is divinely inspired. I make allusions to things to do with, uh, for example, uh, what uh, American author Henry David Thoreau said. He says, The lawyer's truth is not truth, but consistency or a consistent expediency. I make uh, many allusions in different uh, arguments in terms, for example, with uh, uh, what, what, what uh, Dr. Okwetu Oko told about in terms of legal writing in Nigeria when he was making uh, advocates for what we need to do in terms of practicability of the law today. I also make um, different allusions with great, great mentor people like the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, who said, for example, he who gets behind in the race must forever remain behind or run faster than the man he said. I also make allusions to people like Ralph Waldo Emerson and many, many other things. I also make allusions to many different books that many of you probably would want to know in terms of uh, what is necessary in terms of the nuggets of survival. For example, in the reflection, I talk about, for example, how to get away with murder, what Annalise Keating says. He said, unlike other professors, I will not be teaching law, how to study law or theorize it, but rather how to practice it. I make allusions, for example, certain advice to young lawyers by Alistair Lau. I make allusions to Winston Churchill, to people like uh, Shan Zhu, uh, in terms of his other book, uh, which he, he talked about in terms of uh, what is required for purposes of... Uh, the, he was a Chinese general, by the way, in terms of what he talks about in terms of... Uh, the art of war. I also make allusion to Marcus Garvey and then allusions to Harper Lee's uh, uh, movie of uh, the To Kill a Mockingbird, Animal Farm, Jones Orwell, Ben Sherlock's The Godfather in terms of uh, what uh, Mario Puzo says and also the 48 Laws of Power of Robert Greene. So all these are summarized here. For example, I would like to read you something that is important that's going to check your heart. I'm going to give you a motivation. It's a, it's a poem by, uh, by Mandel, uh, Mario de Andel. It says, I counted my years, it's called my soul has a heart. My, I counted my years and realized that I have less time to live by than I've lived so far. I feel like a child who has won a pack of candies. At first he ate them with pleasure, but when he realized that there was little left, he began to test them with, uh, with them intensely. I have no time for endless meetings where statutes and rules and procedures and internal regulations are discussed, knowing that there will be nothing. I no longer have the patience to stand outside people who, despite their chronological age, have not grown up. My time is too short. I want to leave, uh, my spirit is in a hurry. I do not have much candy in the package. I want to live next to humans, very realistic people who know how to laugh at their mistakes and who are not inflated by their own egos or triumphs and take responsibility for their actions. In this way, human dignity will be defended and will live in truth and honesty. It's the essentials that make life useful. I want to surround myself with people who know how to touch the hearts of those who had strokes of life and that they learned to grow with sweet touches of the soul. Yes, I'm in a hurry. I'm in a hurry to live with the intensity that maturity I give. I do not give, I do not want to waste any remaining desserts. I'm sure they will be exercised, much more than those eaten so far. My goal is to reach the end, satisfied at peace with my loved ones and my conscience. In other words, we have two lives. The second begins when you realize you have one life. God bless you. Make use of this life. Make sure you die empty, like Dr. Miles Muno said. So when the time they say you have done your part, you've outlived everything that God has ordained on you. Be blessed. And find this book at google.org or suegenesisblowup.com. God bless and thank you for your attention.